one I found at a, another Capture the Flag that we can try. This program called 000.exe is a command line guessing game. So if you open a command prompt, um, I'm just going to close this. And uh, yeah, I just don't need an administrator command prompt. Let me try for a normal one. All right, now I can go to Downloads and do a directory. And I see this file called 000. So when I run it, it asks me for a number. I give it a number and it insults you. So there is presumably a right number, but if you don't find it, you, you don't get the answer. So that's all it is, a simple guessing game. And we're going to hack this with Ollie Debug. So again, we bring up Ollie. And maximize the CPU window for the default view. And open that file. And here we go. And the great thing about this file, which makes me love it, this file is so simple, the entire thing fits easily in just one screen of Ollie. That's the whole program. It's only about 20 assembly language commands. And remember what I said before, if you're a beginner, look at the right and the bottom. Here you see the addresses. Here's the raw hexadecimal instructions. Here's the assembly code. But over on the right, you have code that is very easy to read. You can pretty much tell what's going on because it calls C library functions in red. So it calls puts and puts out the string launch code. It calls scanf to read a number from the user. Then it prints either while you got it or I think my dog figured it out. So here, this must be the code that decides whether you got it right. So now you can just look at these instructions and just skip over the details. It moves some numbers around. Then here, it compares something with a compare operation and then a jump not zero. That's what an if looks like in assembler. So you do a comparison and then if something is not zero, you jump. Otherwise, you go straight through. So the jump, not zero, will go down to 40205A down here and print the insult. So apparently, the way you win is by not taking the jump. So if I want to win this game the easy way, I can just not bother to do the compare and not bother to do the jump, and then I will win. So I just need to remove this command. And we've done this before. You can modify it with a symbol. And I can just change it to NOP, which is the no operation command that does nothing. And assemble that. And then just keep assembling until I get down to JNZ. And then assemble that. And that's done it. Now I have a modified version of this program that I can run. So I'm going to save that. Copy to executable, all modifications. Copy all. Right click, save file. And I'm going to call this 000 mod. All right. And now I'm done with Ollie. And I can go back to my text, back to downloads. And when I do a directory, I now have a modified file that's the same size as the original. But if I run the modified one and give it a launch code of 1, then I win. And I get the result, which is one letter here, J. So now I know how to cheat at this game. And there's a series of challenges here where you can um, fix one of them, cheat on one, cheat on three, and cheat on, uh, I think, 16 of them. And then you're going to have to write a Python code to automatically patch them and do 256 at a time. And I got this from an easy CTF a few years ago. Um, and the final one, you had to do 67,000 of them. And then you had 67,000 uh, characters of JS fuck. But anyway, this is the our start of it. But this, I thought, was good practice for Ollie.